Welcome back to today's lecture. My name is Fajr Beluwakos, and I will be taking you through a quick tour of study section when Renewable Natural Resources course code FMW201, Introduction to Forestry and Wildlife Management of, of the Lautech Open and Distance Learning for Agricultural Sciences, Option 200 Level Course Materials. Introduction The main purposes for which forests are cleared for agriculture, wood production, industrial layouts, and women's settlements. The conversion of natural forest to pasture is widespread in the tropics, where there is a long tradition of cattle husbandry. So felling wood for industrial production, that is for industrial timber, fuel wood, pump and paper production, as impacted greatly to unsustainable utilization of the forest. So setting up of a new woman settlement involves cutting down of large acres of forest land. So tropical rainforest and savanna, which seems limitless in the past, are becoming increasingly fragmented. So conversion movements are began to force a broader fission, a return to a former wider view of both the tropical rainforest and the Zavanna. So at the end of this study section, you should be able to discuss renewable natural resources, you should be able to itemize some of the impacts of forests of the environment, you should be able to explain some of the global evidence of cl climate change, you should be able to discuss the evidence of climate change in Nigeria. Let's discuss this learning outcome one after the other. Renewable natural resources. Renewable natural resources are the living biological resources which can reproduce or regenerate itself after harvesting. Good examples are the forest, wildlife and fishes. All renewable natural resources can continue to reproduce and regenerate their population as long as environmental conditions remain favorable and have an adequate seed source or breeding stock is maintained. They can also be affected without diminishing their supply provided that harvesting does not ex exceed their reproduction or growth rates. The resources will be depleted and if it continuously exceeds the rate of replacement or growth, the resource ceases to be renewable and the species involved were reduced to the point of extinction. The following are the importance of forest to the environment. One, it serves as a habitat where wild animals live and feed. It serves to conserve our water supply. Thirdly, it is used for recreation such as camping, fishing, and hunting. Fourthly, it helps to prevent our environment for, from desertification and erosion by wind and water. The fifth one is that it is a home for herbs, which is used for food and medicine, and also it is helped to replenish lost nutrients from the soil, and it is a home for trees, which provide timber for construction, wood for energy sticks for staking and cultural crops, and poles for electrical wires impact of forest on the environment the impact of forest on the environment constitutes a good environment which involves soil water air and climate soil soil is where plants grow where they derive nutrients and supply in turn stabilize the soil Service runoff under forest cover is prevented so that the forest is not is not degraded. If vegetation cover is removed, the soil is exposed to direct impact of wind and raindrops. This can break up the fragile soil and the fertile of soil gets washed away in the fast surface runoff, resulting in erosion. 
water. Under forest cover, watershed is protected. Underground water flow is regulated and sedimentation of reservoir and and siltation of streams and lakes are prevented. When the leaves of the tree drop, rainwater falls on the leaves litters, giving it time to seep under the ground. Here, yeah. photosynthetic activities of the plants in the forest purify the air through the release of oxygen. Through transpiration, water vapor, which is constantly released to the surrounding ear of the tree current. So as the wind blows, it powers the foliage of the tree. It carries the moisture, which provides pleasant cooling effects to the environment for climate. Climate is the EU on which forest destruction focuses the changes that, that might occur to local, regional, or global climates. Although the increasing loss of forest cover is a global problem, African countries significantly contribute to these problems. Global Evidence of Climate Change The global mean surface temperature for 2002 was expected to be approximately to be 0 0.50 Celsius above the 1961 to 1990 annual mean value according to world meteorological organization in 2000 so the rise in global average surface temperature since 1910 now exceeds 0 0.60 celsius regional temperature and rainfall patterns according to el nino condition return to the tropical Pacific in 2002. So the characteristic service, sea service and sea level prayer patterns become well established. Land and sea service became warmer. Climate anomalies across western and southwest Pacific moved from their dry condition before May 2002 to wetter than normal. In Tanzania and Kenya, it is reported that heavy rainfall occurred during January to May of 2002, and heavy rainfall was also reported in Uganda in October to November of the same year. So, drought in many regions. India recorded the lowest rainfall in June to September, moon from summer rain of 2002. Most of West African countries received only 25 percent of their normal rainfall so the whole of africa experienced the worst drought in 2002 so the reality of climate change includes the thunderstorms lightning light slides flooding droughts bushfire unpredictable rainfall pattern sea level rise and desert encroachments Evidence of climate change in Nigeria. This includes increased surface air temperature. Meteorological data on surface air temperature for Kano, Calabar, Lagos shows increase since 1920 from 0.25 degrees Celsius for Calabar and Kano and an increase of between 0.25 degree to 0.5 degree Celsius has been reported for the Lagos. This was according to United Nations system in Nigeria and this has affected rainfall patterns coupled with extreme weather events, sea level rise. Greenhouse gas. Greenhouse gas emissions also indicated that Surface temperature increase in Nigeria has good correlation with greenhouse gas emissions. So sea level rise results to coastal erosion, flooding, salt water intrusion, mangrove degradation, and other related social economic problems. Reduced agricultural productivity. It is in the area of reduced agricultural productivity that human beings has had the most severe impacts of climate change. Local farmers can no longer predict incidence of rainfall. 
based on past observation. Incidence of droughts in many parts of the country decreases water availability to crops, leading to severe yield reduction. And the last one is loss of forest resources. Nigerian forest area has been on the decrease. It has diminished from about 60 million acres in 1890 to the current value of about 9.6 million hectares. This may cause to come to an end of this first study section and I hope you've learned one or two things from the video section. I enjoy you to go over your study materials, to read over it in order to have more understanding and knowledge of what we've been talking about. Thank you for listening.